And what about COP? You know, it's been very successful, but we still have a, a week to go in the negotiations. You know, how, so how we have to manage it? the expectations because in the, the, the COP is always, if you look, I've been at the last 15 COPs, but it's a little bit like a, a, a wave, you know, ups and downs. And uh, the heads of state making the bigger, bolder commitments, they're now adding up to something that is really quite positive, bending this curve in a significant way. Uh, people are getting enthusiastic. Now we're getting down to the little nitty gritties, the loss and damage discussions, uh, the 100 billion fund, um, some of the details of what it means, what Russia has signed up to, or China or some other countries, and uh, Article 6. So uh, there will be tension. And what we need to do as, as a business community, as society at large, is keep the bigger picture ahead of us, um, the overall objective that we need to achieve, and uh, be willing to uh, facil facilitate this process to some way. And the best way that we can do that is, is to really show as businesses that it can be done, that it's actually better business, which I firmly believe, that it's not only uh, uh, the right thing to do but it's also the most profitable thing to do and the best thing for society and uh, that gives the confidence to the negotiators to overcome probably some of these sticking points that uh, might look minuscule but can put pressure on achieving this bigger overall objective and we have all responsibility to help our local governments be more ambitious so i would put the emphasis there